And today we will be exploring uh, Moss Deep City, which has a pretty decent amount of stuff on it, um, including a gym, which I am most likely going to be doing in the next segment, but unless this one runs really long, I don't know yet. So first comes the go around and talk to everybody bit, which is always thrilling, but you see, you'll get good stuff occasionally. How am I weird for wanting it? King's Rocks are cool. And uh, I'm gonna give that to Zoe, because Cleanse Tag is kinda useless. Not sure if that's the best thing to do, because the King's Rock only affects... It, it adds a flinch chance, but it only works on moves that don't have an additional ability, and Thunderbolt can paralyze. It'll probably work on Hidden Power, but... I don't know, I'll look over the team later, see what moves it's compatible with. Some of the ones are kind of arbitrary, like... I think moves that have a chance of flinching will actually be boosted by it, even though that's a second... Even though that's, like, an extra ability that the move has, so therefore it shouldn't get another one. I don't know. Oh yeah, this kid's stupid. He's like, oh my god, around here, uh, people watch Whalemur. What is it called? I just can't figure it out. And what's your deal? Eh, he probably could if he tried really hard, but yeah, that is going to be a challenge. Hitting the ground probably not going to help a whole lot if you... I don't know. No, I don't want that, but... So yeah, once again, uh, establishing that fighting-type trainers are complete spazzes. But, yeah, I don't think punching the ground is going to help too much with that. Uh, up this way leads to the Shoal Cave, which I'm not going to go to right now. I'll probably do that after I uh, go through the segment of, like, battling every single water trainer, which... I'm, I'm getting prepared for that one. What's this? Oh, it's mini games. Can I even do this? Oh. That's stupid. Why do you need the wireless adapter? Why can't you just play a freaking mini game? That's dumb. But, um, have I checked everywhere? I haven't checked in here. People in March never do anything, but you never know. Max repels are useless, super repels are better, dive balls are very situational, and, um, in the later generations, they started working well on anything that you find in the water. In this game, it has to be underwater. Even though, uh, black and white do have diving, you can't find stuff underwater, so, yeah. Netball, never gonna use that. And here's Scott being his usual weird self. So yeah, just leave, don't help out or anything. And here we have... Oh, it's the place where that wingall flies back and forth. Does that do anything? I'm actually curious now. I can always fly back. Where's the one with the wingall? It'll be the last house. Okay, here it is. Okay, so just in case you want a mental herb, there you go. What the hell does it even do? Okay, then. I guess that could be useful in rare situations, but... Yeah, probably not too much. I like the Destiny Knot better, which is... If you get infatuated, then so does the opponent. But yeah, anyway, here's the salt lick, as uh, I like to call it. It's apparently a good luck wishing stone thing, and it has something to do with wish tags, which led a lot of people to believe that it had something to do with Jirachi. And it, uh, it doesn't at all, but it really should. Oh, hey, somebody actually saying surf is a good thing, unlike all the swimmers who are like, Oh my god, he needed to swim, man. And super rods are good. But, um, anyway, 
in the um, hack that Sephiroth is working on that I'm helping with, uh, Project Airlock, uh, I'm going to try to come up with an idea involving this rock for a Jirachi event. I don't have the details of it figured out. But uh, right next to it is the Space Center, which also has rumors about it, this time dealing with Deoxys. Um, the most common rumor being that after a certain number of uh, shuttle launches, here's number 11, I don't remember how many it had to be, I think it might have been like 100 or something, after 100 launches you can go on the shuttle and you can find Deoxys, um, which would be really cool, but yeah, that doesn't happen either. Yeah, we, we, we still don't know why Team Magma wants the shuttle fuel. I guess dumping it into the volcano is suddenly going to make it erupt or something. I do like Team Magma's very polite little letter, though. And there's a sunstone, which is the uh, only one in the game unless you steal it from Soul Rock, Which isn't a big deal because you only need it for Bell Awesome, whereas with Moonstones you need it for Wigglytuff and Delcaddy, and there's only one Moonstone in the game if you don't have Wild Lunatones. Um, what? Okay, so I guess Team Magma isn't going to appear yet until I do the gym. Okay, might as well do the gym then. I don't really have anything else planned for this video because I don't have Dive. I'll get that after the gym, I think. And I don't want to fight all the water trainers, and I don't want to go to Shoal Cave. So, once again, putting my uh, water-type fighters at the back so I don't end up using them too much. And here we go into the gym, which is uh, completely different from the one in Ruby and Sapphire, which was... I'm not sure which one I like better. This one has a lot of switch, rotating, funky puzzles. That one had a bunch of strange, um, platforms, like, conveyor belt sort of things, and it was kind of in layers, and it was, it was pretty cool. I think in that game the leaders only had two Pokémon, though. In this one they have four, so... At least they're better in this game, but I don't know. The gym design in the other game was cool. And I don't know the correct way to get through this place, so I'm just gonna bumble my way through it and hope that I end up fighting everybody. Giraffe Rig, uh, being part normal, can't be hit by Shadow Ball, but as for everything else, Shadow Ball should work quite nicely, so I am glad that I learned it. So here's different double battles you could get into, potentially. Okay, so I, I'm wondering if there is a way to get both of those into double battles. There probably is, I just wasn't paying enough attention. Crab Hammer, awesome. 90 power, which is the same, it, okay, a little bit worse than Surf, but it has high critical and less accuracy, but it's better than Bubble Beam, and it has an awesome name, so... Gonna be using that later on, uh. Not in this gym, though, because I have to stay evenly leveled. And if only I had Shadow Ball to fight this thing, but. Eh. Whatever, I'll just hope that it doesn't use Mirror Code. Or get a critical, that works too. Um. Okay, I guess I had to do. No. Have to do that in order to get through later on. Where's this go? Uh, nowhere. Ah. And are we gonna have yet another Kadabra? No, we're not, surprisingly. Instead we get to see a Spoink for maybe the second time in the entire game. Spoink definitely doesn't get much screen time. I don't think anybody in the game uses a Grumpig, either. It's, uh... I don't know, Grumpig's just one of those Pokémon that... 
gets mentioned a lot in those, like, Pokemon that you always forget threads. Except, I think Grumpig legitimately is something that everyone forgets about. At least I do. I tried to use one once. And, uh, it wasn't bad, I just never actually completed the playthrough, but... It's just not very special, I guess. Like, I think its claim to fame was that before Fire Red and Leaf Green came out, it was the only Pokemon that could use Substitute, so it had that going for it, but unless you're, if you're not playing the metagame, then, like, who cares? So, yeah, probably not too many people care about Grumpig. probably would have ended up using one on this team if I had more space for it. If I was doing, like, a 12 Pokemon playthrough, I would have, but... Whatever, I think my team now is pretty good. Can we get through this, please? Uh, and there's the gym leaders, which, uh, go ahead and save state. Don't know why I picked slot 4, I just felt like it. Yeah, I think I missed some people. Did I fight you already? No, I did not. That guy roared at me. I don't know why. So, usual... ...slaughtering of whatever I'm fighting. I don't really have too much to say about it. This gym is actually putting up somewhat of a fight, though. I'm not sure if it's because it's all double battles, or because I'm not paying enough attention to actually make good decisions, or... I don't know. Okay, I did that. I did that. So, yeah, I guess that was it. Uh, I should probably go and heal. And I surprisingly still have enough time to beat the gym leaders. Probably. I don't mind if this goes over time. Uh, as for the last segment, counting as two different ones, uh, I don't know if that's going to be the regular thing now. Like, if I uh, if I do make an extra long video, will it always count as two two segments? But I don't know. It, it couldn't say. That one just was because. Oh God damn it. That one was because it, um, was originally going to be two segments, and then I just combined it. Stop doing that. Okay. So, now, can we finally get to the end? There we go. And Shadow Ball is good, so I will have that, and, um probably be helpful also. Should I save again? Sure, why not. And, uh, you know what? It was a good thing that I saved, because I lost that battle terribly. So, uh, not gonna even draw attention to their annoying finishing each other's sentences thing that they were doing there, which I kind of complained about a bit last time, because, uh, this clay doll seriously needs to die. Uh, Ice Beam or Shadow Ball? I think they both have the same power, so let's go for it. And I'm gonna leave the Zatu alone for the moment, because uh, this Clay Doll uses Earthquake and kind of wrecks shit. So, yeah, Crab Hammer, of course, misses, as it did last time. So I gotta waste a turn to heal, because if I don't, then I'm gonna die. So let's try and get Crab Hammer to freaking hit. Not that it matters. I God damn it. I'll keep going with it, I guess. Um, these three are all weak to ground, so I can't send them in. You're at least immune. I mean, you're immune to it, but and I guess Razor Leaf will be helpful. Please hit this time. Okay, good. And we got rid of it. Good. Okay, so there's the Soul Rock. I don't know what moves that thing has yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fly, just 
for the hell of it. Um, I want to get rid of this A2, because it has a Calm Mind up, and that can cause some problems. It's only one, but still, though. Okay, and we've got a Solar Beam out, so don't want to get hit with that. Neutral, but oh well, could have been a lot worse. Should probably do some damage to the Soul Rock, but uh, so Razor Leaf, I guess, and Iron Tail. Yeah, I think Iron Tail's super effective. Psychic isn't resistant to steel, is it? Uh, fine. Um, you. Of course, Iron Tail misses. This is what happens when you have not perfect accuracy moves. And, yeah, you're dead. Okay, that actually was quite good. If I could only hit with that again, then I would be quite happy. Curse. Just because I feel like using Curse. And Iron Tail again. I'm gonna die from Flamethrower now, aren't I? Nope, okay. Down to just one, so... I guess I'm probably gonna win this battle, but not without reasonable losses. Use Flamethrower while the sun is up, Iron Tail, screw you, light screen. But you know what? I got through it. Definitely wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. It was probably the most challenging gem battle ever, uh, yeah, so far in the game, but... I got through it, I just had to lose it once to kind of learn what parts were difficult. Okay, so there's the Calm Mind, which is a pretty good stat-up move. I'll see if anybody can even learn it. Nope. But I can use Dive now once I get that. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and heal, and uh, next time we will do the Space Center, among other things, which will remain a secret for the moment. So see you that time.